Hello guys, this is a breakdown for the January 3rd, 2019 NBA slate. We have three games on the slate. They're uh, pretty solid all around. So starting off at point guard, James Harden. I'm not going to really get off of him because it's going to be a blowout. It's an eight-point spread as of now, but Harden just on another level right now. I really like Harden. Price has fallen, actually, which is insane. Um, 11K, like James Harden a lot. Curry's okay. Um, I think he's in a great spot if... Uh, some of these other games weren't here or if it were a bigger slate or something like that. Sure, Curry. Great uh, GPP play, though. Uh, phenomenal spot for Curry. Just can't really get to him when I can just go to James Harden for 1500 more. And we all know the usage that Harden has with without CP3 on the court. Darren Fox, shoulder soreness. Um, has me a little concerned, but this is a pretty nice matchup against Jamal Murray defense. Fox, 7.5. Nice price decrease from last game. He's going to be at home. But again, I just want Harden here. Um, Jamal Murray, all these Denver guys, um, their usage um, is probably all going to come down a little bit, just how they're getting healthier. Gary Harris, Paul Millsap, all these guys are coming back. So it is a nice spot for Murray, just a pace-up spot. We know his upside, but again, James Harden's my guy. Um, Van Vliet's all right, but he hasn't really showed upside. Derek White's been hot, but you know it's tough to see him shooting like a hundred percent or something crazy like that eight for nine and a six steal game three games ago it doesn't really just add up to me 4700 um more of just like a chase uh to me austin rivers plays a lot of minutes but just it's harden's offense right now monte morris he lost minutes last game could be due to bad play but just the denver situation with all these guys healthy we got to kind of take a more conservative approach Brent Forbes, pretty nice minutes, playing uh, 30s, so he's a pretty nice floor kind of guy, but here at 4,400, uh, I think we can probably go a little bit lower, or just go all the way up. Um, on the shooting guard, uh, DeMar Rosen, we know the revenge spot with him, and Kawhi Leonard, obviously, I'm going to try to get both of those guys in my lineup, along with uh, James Harden. DeMar Rosen, we know, 7.8, just a nice, really cheap price tag, he plays a lot better at home, I believe, and... Uh, I really am not too worried about Kawhi Leonard defense. I think DeRozan, um, just the revenge factor, how he was really happy in Toronto, but he still got traded anyway. I just like DeRozan this spot a lot. Um, looking elsewhere, Bogdanovich, 5.8, not bad. He should probably be in the 6Ks, but on this kind of slate where there's a lot of studs that I want, uh, he's not going to re really be a priority for me. Gary Harris is 4.8, pretty cheap. Um, only saying second game back though today. Minutes probably go a little bit up, but probably still going to be on a limit. We'll have to wait and see on that, but pretty solid matchup. Uh, Gerald Green, uh, he's a he's somebody that we always look to because we know he can get hot, but 4.1 um, price is a little bit increased now. I feel like you know he just has a pretty low floor, and James Ennis is going to be coming back today, so. We have to wait and see on how the minutes work out on that. But Gerald Green, 4.1, not really a priority for me. I'd rather much go to rich, rather go to Igudala or Danny Green. I think I prefer Green over Iggy. Uh, their minutes are not really consistent, um, but Green does start. And Igudala, we know he has some upside here. And he's probably going to have to play. We should see mid-20s in minutes. i um, going to be guarding James Harden sometime. And... He could definitely get some steals and maybe get some James Harden defense on the offensive end. Danny Green, 4K, revenge spot for him too. Um, 4K just seems a little bit too cheap for him. Uh, get starter minutes. His minutes are a little bit inconsistent, but we can usually get 30 minutes out of him. And uh, One stat to note is that the Spurs do allow... Uh, top, there are top five in allowing the most threes uh, per game to the shooting guard position. And Danny Green, we know, he's kind of like a 3 and D guy and... He, he definitely can contribute all around. So, you know, uh, Danny Green, just a nice 4K play. Just a little bit too cheap in my opinion. Marco Bellinelli, 3.4K, Rudy Gay out. Should see a few more minutes. Um, usually has a pretty nice floor. Um, upside's a little bit limited, but, you know, if he can get you, like, mid-20s and DraftKings points, it's going to be pretty nice on a three-game slate. Next, uh, small forward, uh, Kevin Durant. 9.2k seems pretty nice, but again, I'd rather much go, just much rather save $400 and go out of Kawhi Leonard. 8,800 revenge spot, we know um, the story with Kawhi, and 8.8 seems just a, a little bit too cheap in this spot. Um, probably going to really want to show it to 
Greg Popovich. So 8.8K, pretty nice for Kawhi. Going to be one of my core plays. Um, going down from there, Hernan Gomez. Again, Denver situation. He lost a lot of minutes actually last game. So we might have to just not consider Hernan Gomez anymore. Daniel House's price is a little bit up now. P.J. Tucker, Gerald Green, all three of these guys. James Ennis is coming back, so it might affect this rotation. Um, but again, they're pretty just three-point dependent here. P.J. Tucker definitely gets some boards, but these guys, you know, we need them to hit uh, their threes, and we don't really know who's going to do it. So it's definitely more of GPP plays for all three of these guys. Um, Davis Bertans, 3.8K. He should see a good amount of minutes again with Rudy Gay out. Bertans usually only plays the four. And um, we're not really sure, though. Um, in this spot, last game, we are, we saw he played 31, 31 minutes. And it was against the Celtics, where the Celtics play Marcus Morris at the four with Horford at the five. So then, even though we, the Spurs started Poitel, Aldridge, uh, they had to finish the game with uh, Bertans and Aldridge as they had to go small, just match up with uh, Boston. In this spot, though, we could see something like Aldridge and Poitel at more points in the game just to match up with uh, Siakam and Ibaka. So I'm not sure on that, but Bertans should uh, still see his minutes. And at only 3.8K, I really don't mind playing Bertans with Poitel. Um, just they're both so cheap, and it's only a three-game slate. You know, there's not going to be a lot of value spots that we can get. So uh, Bertans, we know he's kind of like the stretch four, gets you some rebounds too. So he's at home, shoots better. Bertans, 3.8K, nice value play here. And that's it for small or Actually, one more dude I forgot to mention, James Ennis down here. Uh, 3K, probably going to be on a minutes limit, but we got to have to wait and see what kind of limit that is. Um, the Rockets are short on bodies right now. I think James Ennis could definitely play 20s in minutes maybe, but we're going to have to wait and see. He definitely makes for one of the best value plays if his limit isn't too you know restricted. Um, only 3K, we only need 15 points for 5, 5X. So, James Ennis, we're going to have to wait and see on that one. Power forward. Um, i just much rather play uh, DeRozan over Aldridge. Uh, Siakam's okay, same with Ibaka, um, but again, Kawhi's going to be my main guy for the Toronto side of the ball, and Draymond Green just really sticks out right here, 5.9k against Houston, we know Draymond's, uh, you know, type of player that he is, he likes to step up for these big games against these star players, Draymond, he's, uh, a guy that has triple-double upside, plays some heavy minutes, and he's going to be needed here, um, you know, just kind of holding this team together he said that he wants to be a little bit more aggressive he's gonna need to shoot he's gonna need to knock down his shots and we know he has triple double up, triple double upside in this spot 5.9k only just uh way too cheap uh looking elsewhere paul Millsap, 5.2k he had a terrific game last time against new york um this matchup really is pretty good too uh sacramento they've been pretty weak against the power forward position and the center position um, Millsap just in a terrific spot here 5.2k seems a little bit too cheap even if he is on a minutes restriction um, we're gonna have to wait and see on that uh, too but Millsap 5.2k regardless of the restriction I think he can definitely return value and he has a lot of upside in this spot um, regardless if he starts obviously if he starts um, this is gonna be a little bit more chalky of a play um, Looking elsewhere, Kevon Looney, not really a guy I want here. Um, neither is Repko. Uh, so yeah, that's it for power forward. On to center, Jokic. We saw what Yusuf Nurkic did to Sacramento the other day. Uh, Jokic in the same spot now, triple double upside. Um, a better player than Nurkic. And Jokic uh, probably going to be a little bit low owned actually tomorrow, I feel like, or today. I just think there's going to be people that want to play DeRozan with Kawhi at cheaper price tags. They want to take the savings. So Jokic, phenomenal GPP play, probably the best on the slate. Um, 9.8K, uh, phenomenal spot. We know triple-double upside has really 70, 80 point DraftKings points upside. And for me, though, I'm going to probably not really play Jokic because of the fact that I want Harden, DeRozan, and Kawhi. But... Just keep in mind that Denver are getting their guys back, so Jokic probably his usage could be a little bit uh, decreased now. 
and especially just how Jokic has played in the past. Uh, he usually plays better at home and all the usage. Um, we've seen Jokic kind of take this more passive role sometimes. You know, he's probably going to take, he should take double digits in shots, but he has these weird games where he goes like, he just takes single digits in shots. Like we saw that four games ago. He did that a few times actually earlier in the year too. And we could see his usage just go down because Paul Millsap is also going to be in the paint and so Jokic we know he can shoot the three he might be outside reducing his rebounding opportunity there's a lot to really monitor in this Jokic spot with just how Denver is getting healthy now so Jokic not going to be a priority for me but again phenomenal upside Capella 6.9k probably going to go a little bit under owned um, GPP play again uh, would be phenomenal cash I think it's fine Capella 6.9k should double double fairly easily uh, Golden State hasn't really been going with this death, uh, small ball death lineup that they have Draymond at center this year. So Capella hasn't, or he isn't going to be run off the court like he has been in the past. Capella, double double upside. I think that's pretty easy. He can get a double double in this spot. Um, 6.9K, he has 50, close to 60 point upside even. Capella could, you know, go, come out of nowhere with a 2020 game. We don't really know, but definitely that's in the realm of possibilities. So Capella, nice play. Um, elsewhere, I'm going to mention uh, Jakob Poitl, Pertl, uh 3.5K. Revenge spot for him too, actually. Uh, I think he would see some more minutes here in this spot. Uh, Pau Gasol returning really doesn't kind of like affect my decision here. I think Pertl's definitely the guy for the Spurs here. Uh, his size, revenge game. He's probably going to be needed a little bit more than last game. Uh, this matchup against Siaka, Ibaka, Monroe, whoever it is. Uh, Toronto's just a lot bigger compared to Boston. So Pirtle uh, at home in a spot where he's only 3.5K, has 30, upside, 30 point upside. I really like him. Pretty nice floor too because he's going to see his minutes. And here in this spot, 3.5, just a phenomenal play just to see some value because you're going to really need it on this kind of slate. So that's it for the position by position breakdown. Um, just going over some of my favorite plays. James Harden, point guard, shooting guard, DeRozan, small four. I'll take Kawhi. Draymond's just too cheap. 5.9. There you go. Center. Uh, Yaga Pertle. I'll probably go with him to save some value. So those five guys are probably going to be the plays that I try to start with uh, for every lineup. But obviously you can take a look at a guy like Danny Green, as I said before. You can put him in there. Um, or Bertans even. So there's a lot of ways they can go. Uh, Millsap also, if you want to get uh, some exposure to that game, which I think you should. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of ways to really format the lineup, but uh, these four guys are going to be my main plays on this slate. So please, uh, thank, you for, thank you guys for watching. Um, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll be trying to be a little bit more consistent with these uploads. Um, it's been the holidays, so I've been pretty uh, hot recently with my DraftKings picks, FanDuel picks and everything. So I'm going to try to just, you know, really bring it right now. And hopefully you guys can also succeed. So thank you guys for watching. Love all the support that I'm getting. So uh, thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video.